Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. And today I would like to reinstate my project Sketchbook Sundays. It had been quite a while since I was doing this project last time and <laughs> I hope that finally I can um, get myself back on track and um, continue doing the Sketchbook Sundays, probably not every Sunday, but um, I hope try to do it as many Sundays as possible. So uh, the idea of this is that I do some sketching on a relaxing Sunday afternoon and do some talking about the topics that might be interesting for me and hopefully for you as well. And topics related to my life, to my art activities, to my creativity, to different problems or issues that I might be having through through the creative journey and um, maybe some ideas about my art or whatever comes to my mind. So, <laughs> and um, I love sketching the sceneries of the places that I've been to, that I've traveled to, the landscapes and uh, urban scapes, mostly land landscapes, of course, and. Um, I would like to dedicate my next Sketchbook Sunday, so um, the Sketchbook Sunday that I'm gonna release in this video, to um, a view um, of the of the landscape in Norway um, near Kristiansund, um, as I've traveled to Norway quite recently, and um, I just got inspired by the fantastic landscapes there. So I would like to do some more paintings and uh, the Norwegian series later on with the full-blown um, large-scale landscapes. But uh, for now, I'm just sketching a little bit and looking for some ideas. And in this episode, I would like to talk a little bit about um, how it feels to be under stress and uh, having a tight schedule, especially being a full-time artist. So in this episode, I would like to focus uh, on some issues related to how it is to manage the time and to be under the tough schedule and the pressure of the time pressure while you're being creative and doing arts. And as I'm a full-time artist, uh, for me, this topic is especially um, important because there are so many projects that I'm working on and how am I able to manage all of them successfully, hopefully successfully, and what kind of um, strategies do I have to develop in order to achieve all these goals that I set for myself. So, because obviously the burnout is a real thing and I'm really careful about myself and what I'm working on and I practically, I would say I would never, I never had really a burnout. So with, during my creative work, because I'm, um, I have dedicated time for rest, and I'm kind of trying to really balance it out because I know uh, what it is like to have a burnout, as I worked different jobs before, and very stressful and um, responsible jobs. So as being an artist, well, you need your energy and creativity all the time for creating art. It's important to keep the balance of things. And the more I move into my life as a full-time artist, I well, there are more discoveries that I make. So uh, you might have noticed that I've been posting quite a lot of content recently, like started posting more reels and videos and all kinds of different things about my creative work. And of course, all of this requires a whole lot of time <laughs> and <laughs> dedication. So. And I must tell that this is indeed a very exhausting process to work with all the creation of the content for social media and for the internet. And I can't say that I'm really a super technological person. Um, I mean, I'm not really work, I'm not an SMM manager or a content creator or anything like that. I'm, I'm an artist and I'm trying to market my work and uh, to show my work to its best ability that it will be interesting for my, uh, for my audience and for the people who like my art. And um, trying to navigate through all these issues with what is the best strategy to <laughs> apply and to learn all these new things in the world of um, social media marketing and the work with social media is indeed challenging because it's 
Matt Frost, it changes um, extremely fast. So you always have to be on track of things and to learn new things very quickly. So you can't just sit on something like for a long time. You have to just start doing things right away to learn new apps and download new apps and try to learn and um, improve your skills and stuff like that. So when I'm creating video of my painting process, I'm, I try to film as much as possible. So I'm trying to create a, a filming or a time lapse or real time um, footage of my painting process. And this is indeed quite challenging and exhausting because I, I don't just want to film just one scene and I mean, it's going to be boring. So I try to think about it as an, as a movie in a way that there will be a script of some, some sort or um, different uh, camera views. So when you have it always in your head and you have also the painting process in your head, then you kind of like doing the two processes at the same time, two, two creative processes of different kinds. So you film in a movie and you're doing a painting. So it might be quite challenging for me and it actually does um, distract me from the painting process. So. I can't always film my, myself painting because it's just it just not always possible and it's quite uh, exhausting, as I said. But um, these are one of the things that um, that I consider like for myself one of the uh, difficulties, I guess, that I have on my way to like, to invest so much time into working with the content. With producing content content and then at the same time also have time obviously to create pieces of art which is the most important but then I'm not just interested in creating pieces of art and just store them in my wardrobe <laughs> I would like to show it to my audience and of course during the process there's so many different issues that come up that you might not just not be expecting like technological issues you run out of battery or whatnot you don't have the best lighting you have glare i don't know what so <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff that just comes into them into your process and it does annoy me <laughs> so it does distract me and annoy me from my work and I try to keep it all in one balance. So I have spreadsheets, I have time management like schedule for myself, like I can develop for myself, knowing myself and how I work and what, when is the best time to do things. So I'm trying to follow this schedule and um, where I have designated time for rest as well. And when it comes to filming also, um, I'm a lot of time, a lot of time I, I spent on, well now, recently, on setting up the scene. Because my studio is mostly a mess. So it's mostly, a, most of the time is a creative mess. And um, I don't clean it on a regular basis. Like, I, um, this is just like my creative chaos here. But um, what you see right now behind me, it's, it's something that I kind of cleaned up. <laughs> I have paintings on the wall in a more organized way and stuff. So. So I spend some time, of course, to set up my studio space so it will be ready for filming, so that will look nice, that won't be too trashy. And that I think about maybe some accessories or um, colors, whatever I might be using in the, in the, in the scene. I'm adding of candles or, I don't know, laying on some pink brushes or whatever, so that the scene itself doesn't look that boring. Uh, and also for me, it's, it's kind of fun to lay out a, a scene that is sort of helps me to get into the mood of the painting. So there's some time that I have to do uh, this kind of stuff. And then when I start the filming, obviously, um, I have to always remind myself that I need to change my camera views. I might be using two cameras, so I have several devices and I film from different devices sometimes at the same time. But then because of the different quality of the devices, I don't really like, um, combine them together so much. So I mostly just use one device for one video. 
So anyway, I have to keep in mind that I have to stop at some point and change the, the view of the camera, the location of the camera, maybe I'll change the speed of the filming or whatever. So obviously a lot of this kind of stuff that can be, uh, that can be done later on at the editing stage. So some of the stuff I try to do during the filming stage and then when it comes to editing, there's a whole lot of work there. So I can't always like, you know, leave all the stuff for just for editing and film just one scene and then cut and paste a whole bunch of things. That also is a whole lot of work. So anyway, I hope that you will enjoy my new videos because I spent quite a lot of time um, creating them and um, I hope that they are entertaining in a way and that, that they are pleasant and relaxing to watch as well as I'm in these sketchbook Sundays, I'm mostly gonna focus on landscape painting, as I said. Well, not, not always the landscape, so I'm just whatever comes into my mind. So, and um, I let you guys enjoy my new sketching project, and um, I hope to see you in like, my next video. So, have a good day.